Hey beautiful people, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom ROM for our Redmi Note 11 and this one is the Rise OS. Let me show you its Android version and uh, other specs. Uh, as you can see here, it is based on the Android 13 and uh, it is the Rise version uh, 7.5 pixel and the security patch of this ROM is also all the way latest which is the 5 October 2022. So in this video, I will be reviewing it out and I will also show you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11 and I will also tell you is it stable for your Android 13 and can you use it as a CD driver. And these all things will be in this video. So uh, before starting the video, make sure to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for future updates. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, let's talk about the stability of this ROM. This ROM is completely stable and use it, you can use it as your daily driver. As you can see here, the app opening speed is also pretty much good and the all animations are played well, as you can see here. Uh, the app opening speed is also pretty much cool. And uh, in the camera, we get this simple camera pre-installed. I don't know if it is a G-cam or normal camera, but it works pretty much cool. You can take few pictures, record videos using it. And if you want more options like portrait mode, night mode, etc, then you can go for the Gcam. And uh, you can download the any Gcam mode APK from our website 925modes.com. I will drop the link in the description. And, uh, and by the way, we don't get a lot of junky applications pre-installed in this ROM. As you can see here, there are only few and needed applications pre-installed. Uh, you can use them and if you want more application, then go to the play store and you can download any application or game and run it uh, on this rom so other than that if we talk about the home screen here we get the simple launcher from here you can uh, change the settings of icons you can also apply any custom icon pack and here we have notification dot option you can adjust the icon uh, size and font size then we have home screen settings like you can do tweaks in the home screen layout then we have app drawer setting i don't know why it is crashed app drawer settings uh, then we have recents right here from here you can enable the options for recent like clear all kill app lens a screenshot as you can uh, check these options on the recent screen as you can see here and this option it is a little bit useful in my case and uh, after it here we have misc and you can also read about the this launcher oh, by the way this is this is the sushi launcher and after the home settings here we have widget option right here from here uh, you can add a lot of widgets as you can see here a lot of widgets are available to be added on the home screen and then we have this wallpaper and style from the wallpaper you can change the wallpaper by default we get this wallpapers pre-installed and this wallpapers looks pretty much cool let's try this one click on apply home and lock screen it's gonna look awesome as you can see here it is looking pretty much beautiful on the home screen and on the lock screen as well the accent of the fonts has been changed according to the wallpaper and uh, after it here we have wallpaper colors and we also have the basic colors from here from these colors you can choose any of these and from the left you can access the uh, google now google feed now we are going to run a geekbench test let me complete it then I will show it then let me complete it then I will show the results to you so here are the uh, benchmark results as you can see here it just scored 379 on the single score and it scored uh, 1675 on multi-core it is not that impressive but it is it is it can be used uh, it is useful uh, on a custom ROM specially based on Android 13 as you can see here from here by the way you can check the kernel info model info and other information right from here and you can also compare the uh, benchmark scores to other uh, mobile phones so this was the benchmark results of the uh, rice OS for our Redmi Note 11 so by the way the ROM is pretty much stable you can use it as your daily driver you can also do the gaming on it this ROM is not that bad this is a stable ROM you can use it as your daily driver and uh, everything is just working fine you can run any application on it you can play any game on it and now let me show you some of uh, the uh, customizations that we have in this ROM first of all let's talk about the quick setting from the quick setting as you already know you can edit the quick setting uh, from this button and you can add or remove any shortcut 
uh, from the list it is focusing uh, again and again on my iphone's camera i don't know why so uh, after going into the settings here we have uh, some empty space it is for those who want to use uh, the setting application with one hand by the way you can also use the one handed mode which is one of the my favorite features from the android 13 and android 12 so after going into the settings here we have such option user icon then we have network and internet connected device personalizations from here you can read about them here we have lock screen personalizations customizations then we have misc from the misc you can enter the gaming space that's mean this rom can be used for gaming as well as you can see here in game ringer mode you can also enable a lot of other features you can also add the games into the library and uh, after it here we have smart pixel option which can be helpful to uh, save the battery and it will reduce the power consumption and then we have system boost higher fps in games and unlimited photos storage in the settings then we have weather settings after it here we have notifications quick settings from here uh, you can change the battery percentage style battery style and battery slider brightness slider sorry quick settings qs panel style and all the other settings you can also enable or disable the cpu info right from here and uh, here we also have the power menu shortcut options and uh, after it here we have status bar from here you can change the icon settings battery style you can also change the battery style let's try this one this looks pretty much cool you can also change the battery percentage style and here we have some other clock and date style lock screen date uh, clock style sorry you can also enable or disable the logo for the status bar as you can see here you can change the logo style rice ball rice droid or any of these you can also change the location of the logo as well so after it here we have sound and vibrations then we have user interface from here you can change the phone style you can change the icon style you can change the uh, monad settings and you can also adjust the uh, nav bar style right from here then we have this off screen animations let's try this one this looks pretty much like old school tvs and uh, then we have signal icon style system shapes wi-fi shapes and some other settings and after it here we have display from the display we have uh, normal options like previous roms and uh, you can also enable the peak refresh rate to 90 hertz you can set it to uh, 60 hertz or 90 hertz it is all depend on you and uh, you can also set the maximum and minimum refresh rate from right here as you can see here and you can also enable the smooth display by the way it will automatically raise the refresh rate from 60 hertz to 90 hertz for some content like scrolling or while gaming and then we have tap to wake and other options after it we have uh, wallpaper and style apps notification battery the battery performance of this rom is also pretty much awesome here we have the battery usage battery saver adaptive battery designed battery capacity current battery capacity and uh, i don't know why it is showing 2 mah and uh, charge cycle completed and you can also check the battery temperature by the way then we have storage option sound and vibration in this sound and vibration we have dolby atmos right here as you can see here and this is a really useful sp uh, feature of this rom and uh, after it here we have security in this security we have all security options available like fingerprint is just working fine all other on screen locks are working fine but we don't get the face unlock in this rom maybe it will be added in the future updates then we have uh, privacy location safety emergency passwords account google system in the system we have languages and input buttons in the buttons here we have some customization like here you can enable the taskbar which will be added to the bottom right here as you can see here you can just access any application no need to go back and then go to your designed application as you can see here and uh, i'm not going to use it uh, after it here we have power menu from here you can enable the advanced restart and then we have in call and other options 
then we have live translation, system profile, gestures. In the gesture, we have sort of three fingers through screenshot, quickly open camera, system navigation bar, and one-handed mode, which is working pretty much good. You can, upload, uh, you can operate the whole screen using one hand. Then we have press and hold power button. After it, we have date and time, backup, updater, rules, multiple user, reset option, and at the end, we have the about form section. From here, you can check its Android version, which is the Android 13. Rise OS version is uh, 7.5 pixel. The security update is also latest 5 October 2022. So the ROM is pretty much stable and you can use it as your daily driver. And if you want to use this ROM on your Redmi Note 11, then the download link and installation instructions are in the description. Go and follow the instructions and uh, you will be able to install this ROM on your Redmi Note 11. By the way, the installation process is not that uh, difficult. It is pretty much simple, simple. Just download the ROM, put it into your internal storage or SD card or any hard drive and then connect it out. Go to uh, TWRP recovery and format the uh, already installed ROM and go to install and flash the newly downloaded ROM from the description. By the way, all the instructions are in the description. Go and follow them and you will be able to install that ROM on the Redmi Note 11. So hope you guys like this video. If you really did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace. You can also join us on the Telegram. If you have any queries or questions about this video, uh, let us know in the comment section.